a budget, a budget is a plan for how you will spend your money, it helps you track your income and expenses, and you can make sure that you are not spending more than you earn. But from your experience perspective, you are not there, you are here. Basically, you are supported by your family or your others, and how do you able to manage to spend the expenses? Then you survive within the time frame, expecting another money that will be sent to you by your father or your mother, the sponsors or your parents, etc. Now, why is budget important to Jewish students? Our budget is very, very important to us. Now, we, now we, we sitting here as a staff, I sitting here talking, I was once a student. Now, budget will play a very vital part in not only when I was a student, but as I progress things from times and become, a, become an employee, make my way up, budget. Not only, I'm not saying that it ends there, from student to become an employee, or become a because somehow, but it is going to become a vital part of our life for me and my other colleagues. We must have to be able to budget. If we cannot budget, within the two weeks we get well or we get two weeks later. Huh? Within, within the two weeks, if we don't know how to budget, obviously we will start going sick in our money and all of our things. So budget is very, very important for all of us, for all of us. Now from the slight perspective, it's just positive for students. Are you using students at a lot of expenses? Yes? Yes or no? Yes, sir. And someone put their hands up and said, I don't know, I don't know. Does that go to the sun? All right, everyone here? All of us, sir. Oh, good. Uh, all of us have a lot of expenses. Who's a piece? Who's stationaries? Who's flex? Or again? Clothes. So, I'd like to tell you to make sure that you have enough money to cover all of your expenses and still have some left over for for five. So five basically means that you can do anything apart from what is things that you can be able to uh, do from the beginning. Time for the to do it for one month. How long for you? Uh, your family, your sponsors, how of you? So again, goes back to important budgeting. But it is very, very important uh, part of you surviving as a student. You see the money, a lot of things you have. Some of them might fall and steal it. But we still do what it comes up. We may still focus for a big boy or something. But we find people who don't have a lot of policies. Compared to what our politicians are doing, the law is very unfair to us. Not only the students, but of us. Several populism, lecturers, colleagues, and all others. How to create a budget? There are a few steps involved in creating a budget. First, you need to track your income. Just as I said earlier, in order to create a budget, you have to track your income. So, who, where, where, where my income is coming? My parents are doing so. Uh, you may, you may sell something at a, at a dollar here. So, again, take stock of all the income that money that you have, money that comes in you, uh, for whatever you think it may, it may come in as an income to you. And you can track your income and expenses. Now, when you see that money is Parents say you go out of dinner every fortnight, then your expenses are to go out of dinner. Okay, then you need the two weeks. I'm going to get up for this one. Clean up, clean up, clean up for this one. Once you start doing that, realizing and identifying your, your income and expenses, obviously you start to budget up. So you are one very participating in budget. Uh, this will give you a good idea of where your money is coming and going. Once you know where the money is going, you can start changing your spending habits. So again, when we talk about budgeting, it's just controlling expenses. Huh? Meaning that something that you don't necessarily need, you don't need to include it in your budget. You don't need to have that within the two weeks or three weeks or whatever time, time frame that your money comes in, your income is coming in. There. Some things necessary for us uh, to have, you, you must have in order for us to survive, or you are not allowed to uh, be a, get good marks. At the end of the day, we are here to get good marks, to learn as fast as we can. Whatever we do from income and from external perspective must be more towards our learning, learning objective. Uh, textbooks, if your data around, you get data. Anything that you do, the expense component of it must be towards uh, the, the main reason you are here, which is learning. Rather than you spending on other things that I will not name it, but you know what, what uh, that may be. So, 
coming in from the from the uh, from the both the area from the last area of that. So I'm going to go back to my point here. Track in, make sure you track. Uh, this is what my father, this is my mother, this is my parents, this is my sponsor saying. And try as much as possible. Live within the things. You don't get out of China and you try to live. So your friend that I have become a piece of family here. You will not survive in the industry. You need to do this. Now you go, you want to start a business, you will not survive. You start giving money there by the same time. And you start making yourself wrong from the start. Uh, common, all of us know this is our experience. This is our experience. We are not supposed to say that. We are not supposed to say that. These are some old things that when you talk about money, take it to our home. Uh, when you get out of here, some things are not necessary. Are not necessary. So again, when you go for a budget, look at those things that are necessary to you, and you don't need that. You come and come in, and you spend as an expert. So I have those things that are necessary for you. I can go back to the area where you're a Your expert must send that around. Now take you while you're here, which is learn as you can, as much as you can. Anything that involves learning, apart from that, Consider as unnecessary, so you shouldn't be included in the budget. I'm from students' budget, 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 budget. Smoke and quiet. You know how you are not to spend on this one, huh? Uh, again, you want, to, you want to be successful in uh, when you finish your studies or you cry as possible. Let's see your budget now. When you talk about smoke and quiet, and you try to control this fucking habit, and you will not die from, without a smoke, without a point. Who speaks to that effort? Manage as fast as possible, manage your expenses. Ex 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 How to track your income and expenses? Uh, from students to say, uh, if, 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 if I'm thinking about this, is, then I might talk about a lot of things about how to track and how to track my income and expenses. But from students to say, this is some little things that we can do to start as much as possible in board capacity. Uh, basically, managing our money so we can be more successful in having money in life and etc. Are there some different ways to track your income and expenses? All of us have internet access up. I use budget in such a speed that they have to draw up. If you come across this square, yes? Look at yourself if you come across speed and they have to draw up. There's some free help in the on internet. You can go in and download it. So if you download it into your phone or into your computer, then you fancy it. Uh, how much coming to you and how much you can be able to spend. Uh, you can also use uh, spreadsheet. So all of us have access to spreadsheet. You go in and you start creating your income form, your Excel form, <coughs> and within a month or within two weeks or whatever, you play around with the expenses in the market. The main point here is you minimize the expenses. If you can be able to do that, trust me, you will go a long way, you will become an entrepreneur uh, when you finish studies, maybe in the next five, six years old. Uh, you can use a notebook, a notebook. Again, notebook is basically keeping notes of this coming, this going on, this what I need to spend on this, should not be included in the budget. And you create a uh, income as well throughout the month. No matter what you spend, what you choose, be consistent with tracking your income. So again, I'm continuing to basically repeating, track your income. So you know where I started this coming to for income coming in. Uh, in budgeting, tracking income is very, very important. It basically means identify where your income and who you are your expenses. Uh, be consistent with your tracking, your income and expenses. The more consistent you are, the more you're going to budget. So continuous checking is very, very important uh, in order for you to be accurate and you budget. At the end of the day, you want you to have money. Uh, to buy a car, to buy a house, or to be studying, to be studying here. Now, we uh, business side is not very invited one of the best, one of the former students, Mr. Kerber, you don't know him, yes? He's around here, he's famous. He's what's that? Hey, he's what's this? The owner, the husband, he was a student here. Now, when you talk about budget reason, very good example of budgeting. He was still like here, he had one year too. Started selling it at the market. And he came and said, "Say it's ex expert with us." So selling the schedule, selling, selling all those tricks. From there he started 
chemical side there, you find out the money is a million and then he is able to own trucks and all other businesses that we see in morning with four thousand plus or four hundred. So his business here is now here. His business here started here and go there by selling something. Then he got his shop. Three hundred t-shirts and from there is a I think it's a person of Tina Bialu like how he said it. So it's a clear example of why we meant, why why I mentioned track your expenses and income. If you give it, if you give me one million now, I swear, and you go very long way. This guy is a million now. Okay. Okay. So continuous, so constant checking is very very important. Basically, uh, your expenses. Uh, how to set financial goals? All of us. We'll be able to do that. Once you have a goal, once you have a good understanding of your income and expenses, you can start set financial goals. So you cannot just say, okay, next year, when I finish final year, I want to start a business. Without knowing your income and your income, knowing your expenses and your income. You're not going to set a financial goal whether to start a business to buy something or to do whatever you do. You must be able to know your income and your expenses. So this thing is continuously coming up in every slide that, that I'm going to. To track your income and expenses, then you want to set up the financial goals. Uh, we cannot just guess or work by guess, saying that uh, when I finish after two years, I'm thinking of here, yeah, millionaire day. How will you be a millionaire day when you cannot, when you don't know your expenses and income? Where your financial sources are, and where, who are your, where your expenses will be, or which source will be your expenses. So your financial goals can be anything that you want to, you want them to be. Start the same for a down payment house. Some students are still studying and they have already, I have a plan to have this type of house. Now we start smaller, so that we can do it as a side, for the other side, etc. Uh, paying off a student loan, those of us who borrow loan from government, we will not run away. We will run one day, one way, the other. Start paying loans when you start employing. Uh, same for retirement, it's good to start again. When you are at a step 8 age of 65, our policy in our government put on the road that when you are 65, you should be a retirement. You should be a retirement. This is a retirement age. You should go out. That's the end moment when you go out and be at home as a, a retired, retired person. But before you reach that or before you start, something to think about. Uh, take a trip like this. You may want to uh, go somewhere that you want to go to Australia or Africa. Or instead of staying in college, you start now with something outside. And then happy to go alone. Again, it's not hard. It's just the people, the people, right across the world, the people of the day of living this time, expenses. Again, control the expenses. Huh? Our well, second financial goals, especially the real estate. We don't just, as I said earlier, not just okay, I'll do this in the next few years or I'll do this in the next year. You start somewhere, find the goals, specific and realistic. Uh, when you know that you can be able to budget, then you start budgeting. You budget at your level, huh? Uh, you don't, you know, father said you think you're fitting up your budget. Is it possible? Is it realistic? No, huh? You go and see a house, you say, ten and four, I should get in the house. You go and see a house, you pay the You realize, no. I went over my budget. So be realistic. Uh, for example, instead of saying I want to save money, say I want to save 100 gram. I'm using a term of 100 gram, but you might want to say uh, save 20 gram. So when my father saves 100 gram, 20 gram goes into whatever that I want to save. Or put, put it aside. So you don't say save money, but save 20 gram. You have said 20 gram. Or save 10 gram. Also set a deadline for your goals. For example, say I want to save 100 gram. So 20 gram per month. 5 gram per month. I can have a week, depending on your income, the company, a year or a day or a week or a month or whatever. So again, this is the only thing I have. So if you can be able to do that, then that means positive. If you're taking focus on the body of the body, and when you do that, you're starting to control the level, uh, controlling the expense. How to stick your budget? Uh, once you have created a budget, then the next step is to stick to it. To 
particularly this union is a lot of the other one. I don't know if you can see it, but I don't know if you can see it. 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 When you go over, that's when you start passing the other component of the thing that uh, you were supposed to say. I feel this to speak to your budget. I review your budget regularly. So you check it weekly, monthly, or whatever. Uh, you need to check it, depending on the income of the council. And if you want to, if you want to, if you get the problem to us, you sit down like this. Go to town, come back, take over the link. You sit down, try to review, take it. Those of us who don't go, you know, it's a lot of us, it's okay, huh? It's okay, you don't need to forgive. You go on to my head, you go on to my, go on to my, go on to my. You have to forgive your body. I'm not saying you better go on to my, you better be mindful of this, it's just good for us. But you need to go on to my, huh? I beg you to send me your body and see it. So again, when you believe it, then you go on to send it, okay, then you put another bike in it. Okay, I'll take it to my, I'll take it to my, I'll take it. Are you prepared to make sacrifices? Some of these people make sacrifices. They need it. If I go and ask that person that I have said is now a millionaire and break, he will tell you, give me a long list of sacrifices that he's done. He gets where he is now. So sacrifices, when we talk about budget, sacrifices is a big part of successful. In order for you to be successful, in order for you to become a millionaire, a millionaire, you must be able, you must be prepared to sacrifice. Sacrifice, you know, you sacrifice your life, you know. Doesn't mean that you sacrifice your life. You do some sacrifices, cut back some things that you don't deserve. And don't give up. So basically, when you stick to it, you go with it, whatever that is doing. Once you feel like, oh, this is not time to have this time to have this, you start giving up. When you give up, it becomes, you have to give up. It becomes a give up person. And you know the success. Then you go back to the other person. I remember why that is this journey, not the rest of it. That's the soft life that I've prepared yourself from.